one thing that's always really bemused me, I think, about filler is lips are always usually the first thing you're taught. Was that the case with all you guys? Was lips sort of Pretty the first much. thing? And I think they're one of the hardest things to get right, myself. I don't think they're the easiest, and yet it's sort of filler course day one training, isn't it, lips? Why do you think that is, and should we be doing that? Is that right? Or is this way above and beyond this small little lecture series? <laughs> what do you think? I think there's a very valid point. Um, when Bob and I started injecting 20 plus years ago, fillers were just that. We were filling potholes in the road. We were filling nose to mouth lines. We were filling, filling mouth corners. Now it's about redraping, resculpting, and replacing lost volume. Now, lips themselves, I don't like using the word filler in lips. I say, imagine we're using an injectable lip liner. Imagine we are restoring hydration and we are replacing lost volume. Uh, but they're a complex area. The lips are effectively a ring of muscle. They're a sphincter muscle, a bit like the muscle that surrounds the eye. And if you use the wrong type of filler or you inject it in the wrong area, that filler will start to clump and you'll end up with lumps in the lip. Uh, you can end up with nodules forming. You can end up with that, that trout pout where they, the lip actually starts to stick outwards most unnaturally. So practitioner choice is very important because it takes many years to get good at this. You don't go on a one-day course and suddenly become the best lip injector. So correct product choice, correct practitioner, and be subtle. <laughs>